I am an archaeologist, and men are my business. Just the same, I wonder if we'll ever find out about men. I mean, really find out what made men different from us robots by digging around on the dead planets. You see, I lived with a man once, and I know it isn't as simple as they told us back in school. We have a few records, of course, and robots like me are filling in some of the gaps, but I think now that we aren't really getting anywhere. We know, or at least the historians say we know, that men came from a planet called Earth. We know, too, that they rode out bravely from star to star, and wherever they stopped, they left colonies, men, robots, and sometimes both, against their return. But they never came back. Those were the shining days of the world. But are we so old now? Men had a bright flame. The old word is divine, I think, that flung them far across the night skies, and we have lost the strands of the web they wove. Our scientists tell us that men were very much like us, and the skeleton of a man is, to be sure, almost the same as the skeleton of a robot, except that it's made of some calcium compound instead of titanium. Just the same, there are other differences. It was on my last field trip to one of the inner planets that I met the man. He must have been the last man in this system, and he'd forgotten how to talk. He'd been alone so long. Once he learned our language, we got along fine together, and I planned to bring him back with me. Something happened to him, though. One day, for no reason at all, he complained of the heat. I checked his temperature and decided that his thermostat circuits were shot. I had a kit of field spares with me, and he was obviously out of order, so I went to work. I turned him off without any trouble. I pushed the needle into his neck to operate the cut-off switch, and he stopped moving, just like a robot. But when I opened him up, he wasn't the same inside, and when I put him back together, I couldn't get him running again. Then he sort of weathered away, and by the time I was ready to come home, about a year later, there was nothing left of him but bones. Yes, men are indeed different, 